at the Dragon Temple where everyone lied to us as far as who they were going to play. <laughs> yeah. I feel like so we're getting that all over again. These... <laughs> Deadly wins. I feel like that's what every Cetrion's playing. Yeah. Best best of every world. Added offense. Added, added utility. Still have the insane uh, teleport out of the corner to reset the position. And then the Deadly wins, which just is, is, is a do-it-all. No yeah, downside to, press, to, to, to doing that man. special move at all. And you're going to see a lot in the pressure, too. Jason Dunn. With the hat, and we saw this come out. Well, we saw the same matchup between, I believe it was Dragon and PL. And I'm very curious to see what the approach is here from Rewind's Cetrion has gone for this. You know, she can do the wall to blow up his uh, his buzzsaw, for example, even in pressure strings. And she has plenty we'll of see. things to get to to get him out of the air. You know, you already saw the active wall, still active, 18 years later, by the way, clipping him on the jump. Uh, then you've got the Hell's Wrath to stop it, right? The wall to stop it. The Pound, and that was just a raw fatal blow. Are you kidding me? What? Got some chutzpah I've here. I've commentated a lot of online forums lately, and why does raw fatal blow from Kung Lao keep hitting, guys? I feel like it's 100%. Yeah, I mean, it's far and it's fast. What can you say? There, there's no science to back it up at all, <laughs> but she is a working. Ooh, look, look, look like everyone tried to get him with the shimmy forward dash into the forward two, not working on Scar here and Scar. And you know, it was actually Scar during the Coliseum that kept doing that raw fatal blow and clipping Sorry. people, and he's just picking up right where he left off. That's, that's, that's pretty scary. Also, shout out to these players for advertising on their variation names. I just want to point out that both of them did a good job on that. Right? Yeah, some people are out here wasting it. I like what these guys are doing. Just build those brands, still. ladies and gentlemen. You see the wall and did not actually get the uh, the hat. Whoa! Possessed. Yeah, 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 like... <laughs> it's hilarious looking, right? <laughs> like, what's up, man? <laughs> I was expecting it. That caught me off guard. Oh, big chance, maybe? No, not right there. But good damage, regardless. <gasps> Short hop down three. You know how I feel about that, just did. I do. Wonderful I've seen of, it. What, wonderful piece of technology. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tricky. Way more effective on the offline. No I will say that. Really went to teleport. Oh, the way far forward. There is not any bar to get out of this defensively. It's far taking game number one. Really solid game on both guys. Rewind was definitely in that scar. The savage fatal blow has to be. It has to be what we talk about there to turn things around. You know, Re Rewind was able to establish such great control. We saw Dragon never let go of that against Perfect Legend earlier on the east side of things in the same exact matchup. Um, variation a little bit different, though. Uh, they see from Scar. Scar playing around a little bit with that with that possessed hat. And it definitely looks like it could be effective. I think it's going to be matchup dependent. Against Cetron, you're not going right. to get a lot of freedom to, th to throw out hats like Cetron. that. So we'll see if that comes to play or if cool. we see a swap. Wow. Didn't Cetron. look like I wouldn't have been surprised to see a uh, swap here, but it looks like there's not going to be one. Cetrion again. Yeah, because Rewind has 7,000 characters that, that he could easily go for here, right? I mean, he told us he was going to go Lou, Johnny, Jackie, etc. I but expected the Lou. Low-key, I, I was expecting the Lou, but I think that everyone's just looking at this this particular variation of Cetrion and going, what, you know, there's no downside at all. Well, uh, I mean, she doesn't do as much damage, I guess, as she does maybe in Variation 1 and the Variation 1, but yeah, a lot of other great stuff going on for her, for sure. So we got Scar up, 1-0 to begin with, and Rewind, yeah, he's sticking with the same character. Maybe being a little bit more active here, we see him going in a little bit more at the start. I think that he just doesn't want to give up an answer for the hat like a like, like you know an, an obvious answer for the hat that scar has to respect and think about this entire set mm -hmm. and that might be exactly what it comes down to is that is that is that they look at at you know at this collaboration that's been putting in work since ultimate came out and says what is an answer for it and found one with the rock wall here Ooh, get out of I'm my out airspace of I love that little movement there, the instant air dive kick is the way to approach it! Well, just down three to start the business. Here we go! Oh my goodness! Okay! Scar had to have some kind of plus frames right there, right? The hat had just hit him, and Rewind's response is 1-1 one, one Fatal Blow. A little bit of payback from that first game, I think. But well, well, wonderful hit confirm in, in the challenge like that. Yeah. Clutch. Round two, fight. Yeah, never giving up on situations. Nice. Okay, yep. 
big chance. Everyone out of there instantly. Something we've seen from a lot of Kung Laos recently too is a lot more jump, I think it's jump two, where he, he kind of puts both hands out. Really effective jump, it's very active. What, did that just go over the wall, through the wall? Maybe just got that. <laughs> it's possessed, dude. Kick through. It, it, it is possessed, it has a mind of its own. Scars <laughs> put a really good job of, of getting through those uh, pounds as well. Perfect spacing on, on it's a jump dive kick. Yeah, again, I really like that. Oh, stayed on the ground. So just nickel and diming is rewind right now, taking off a little bit of life against Scar here and there. Chip damage here and there. And saving his offensive bar as well, it seems, for that kind of situation. Right? Yeah, just blowing it up each time. Now that does mean, well, Scar doesn't have offensive bar himself, so he's going to need to hang out a little bit before he can get that back. Scar's Remember his blow. I, I, I half expected it. I, I half expect it. Oh, not gonna get there in time. And tried the right he tried, it. tried it. He tried to take it. He tried to steal it, David. A rewind shutting it down as Mama Cetron is known to do with the pinatas all over the screen. Yeah, I like that. I like saving the offensive bar for wall into wall amplifier. I think that makes a lot of sense, just to shut that down. She has as many offensive bars as Kung Lao has, right? We only got two. And he needs to use offensive bar in order to keep the hat, you know, in that kind of threatening situation where he can release it when he wants to. So I, I like that. that. That makes a lot of sense to me as a potential counter here. Looks like Scar is going to stick with it, though. Yeah, any changes on the variation? I think it's the same. I think re I think rewind oh, looking back at has has absolutely done the right thing, and it, it's it's gonna be the same exact loadout. Buzz saw Buzz saw possessed hat here, uh, but for rewind, it was it was it was just you know, not giving up after game one on the belief that this was the answer, right? Did you see the possessed hat actually go underneath her? Like, okay. Dude, I it does that, have that, thing, that thing is doing things that <laughs> only the name, I guess, gives the answer to. That thing really does have a mind of its own. Whether it wants to go over or underneath, whatever it wants to. And look at that, it's it, it's so lingering. It, lo it looks incredibly active. It does look super active. Yeah, that. So this I is the position that we the saw injury. quite a bit of last time. Of oh, just almost there. Very, very close. Here's Scar harassing a little bit. Ooh. Staggers. What patience by Rewind right there. Oh my goodness. Well, Rewind would love to get out of the corner. He just tried it. He just tried teleport. Interrupted. Oh, and he's there we out go. here now. Oh, how, how, how dirty is it? That, that the Deadly Winds reset neutral so far away that, that she can get that teleport out. Woo! Pretty good. That's oh, not that bad of a trade, either. Wow! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it hit him in the active frame. He tried to get up and <clears throat> maybe try to steal a punish right there. On a quick prize, he didn't drop on the one one. Oh, He no. has fatal. If he finds a good combo with fatal right now, he's going to get it. But can he find it is the question. He does not, not have the time. time. What a, what a little oh, scramble like right there. I mean, he started he started out a little bit differently this game. Last game, he was more pressure heavy. This time, it seems like he's more consistently away. Look at this, starting off with a teleport, close one even, taking the risk. Yeah, if you notice, every time he gets a chance to, he's he's almost been back dashing. There we go, just skating backwards, way dash back, but set down. Oh, 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 oh. She, she'll get away from you. Isn't going too far, but just even a wake up back dash. Yeah, all about it there. And Luckily, he didn't get murdered for going for the spear. He throws back to the corner here. It's Cetrion with a teleport. Do, do you ever truly have her locked, locked down? Well, no bar of any kind now is Rewind, but Scar is still struggling to get in. Oh, here's maybe a chance. No, I'm fine. Rewind stabbing in occasionally here. And we haven't even seen Scar have that much time to put out a buzz hat from far. You know, that hasn't... He, Rewind's been too active. Rewind has been doing too much stuff to allow that very often. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Rewind's just been kind of the more, the more active of the two. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? What, 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 throw the needle right there. 
to be the punish. Uh oh, okay, wait a second. Didn't get what he wanted as far as position, but getting it. Cetron, it's, it's, you're, you're gonna be playing this from start to end. The hat out. Nice little wave dash right there. If you notice that the, yeah, the possessed hat the ninja on the approach. Versus, versus the pound, like it, it's actually gotten some, some pretty decent trades. He just hasn't had the health. Wow, that was such a smart teleport! Finally, when there was buzzed hat out there, buzzed hat into teleport is a classic setup. Three line was away. He read the situation perfectly, and now even though he's in the corner, he's still controlling things. Ooh. Okay, no more. He got there first? What a timing on these teleports. These have been killer. Even for somebody like Scar, usually so strong at that kind of thing. Rewind has had great yeah, moments these I think that Scar is definitely looking for something else at that time, right? And it's catching him off guard just a little bit. And in that little bit of hesitation, she's already safe. Already stealing a turn with a down one. Re rebuilt the space. Got the air to air. M maybe assumed that breakaway was going to come. Rebuild the space. In in initiate the zoning all over again. Really strong stuff from Rewind. Up says Tat is, is giving him a little bit of a second thought, though, when it's out there. But every time Scar is in this position, he's chasing Cetron every single time, David. Doesn't have, he's, he has such a health deficit every single time in these closing moments. Oh, has, he's, he's close, he's close though. 15 seconds, it's another coming down to the wire moment here. The block came out of rewind. Not there, the punish. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. oh time. One mix. Is it? Does he have it? Does he have the time? I don't think it's going to be enough. So. Oh my goodness. This defense by everyone, it's not just that he's taking up a lot of space on screen and being active. This is not just straight up runaway set around, right? He's coming in for a hits a lot, not with any commitment in them, but just putting out deadly wins, rebuilding space, you know, teleporting around. He's being quite active. And then also when it comes to these moments of him needing to just stay still, not get hit at the end of these two rounds that he wins by timeout. He did that too. He's got that side of things on deck as well. He's just playing it so patient. And, and, it, and it's not a play style that we're used to seeing out of Rewind an awful lot. Is that is that is that kind of more more keep away, you know, re Rewind's across the board, I think, always always kind of been an in-your-face kind of player. Well, he's playing this well, so smart. And he's issue. playing the health lead perfectly. Every single yeah. time. Yes. Health lead and 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 then he goes away. But he's relatively active early on, you know, up in his space. But it's I feel like to get the health lead. And then dip. So we got Rewind up two games to one versus Scar. Scar chooses to run it back with the same variation. You see what I mean? It's not just that Rewind is throwing out Hell's Rats and Earthquakes from far. He also is coming up a lot. He's coming in just like this, right? He moves forward quite a bit, actually. Yeah. He just tried it again. He's just, he, he's just dancing and, and he catches a lot of the damage from those dashes, right? Dashes and dashes out, and those raw specials, right? Whether it be the rock, whether it be the Hell's Wrath, his, his teleports have been insane. Yes, movement's been really good. Scar trying to move forward, didn't amplify. Oh, now Scar has to work his way through the minefield. Oh, so again, the, re the teleport timings are so perfect for Rewind. Every everything Scar tried right there. Game back to bite him as he goes back to the position he found himself in before. No resources on the screen and chasing Cetrion. Rewind has done just that. Made Scar come to him and made him pay for it. And, and we've seen it a lot out of these Cetrion players tonight. Even Dragon earlier against Sonic. It was it, it was a stop in the movement forward. And but Rewind has had a nice mix-up of, of using that teleport to kind of disrupt the game plan even further. Out, out here in neutral, like at, at any time. We don't even yes, know and he's coming. calling up these timings on the buzz hat really, really well because you can keep that for a long time still. But rewind, nevertheless, has called out like when it's gonna launch a bunch. This is his just mid range control. controls there. His defense is there. His understanding of the timings that Scar would like to use offensively. It's all there. He targeted right there. Close. I think rewind still tried to wake up with the back dash right there. What a savage! I do the same exact thing. Back dash, yep. Re rebuilding that space, try to Trying teleport to teleport. again. Scar was gonna call it out though, it looked like. He's gonna jump back. Is he there? He's not there in time. And rewinds away, back to this range here. Oh no, no, God, God, he's expected. 
No one expects that to hit. No one expects that to hit. Not even these guys at the highest level. Mm, oh, nothing. Okay. I don't think there was anything Scar could have done right there. A lot of unbreakawayable damage. Even afterwards, you would have been at chip situation, standing, and should have jailed into chip pressure. So, mm -hmm. wow, not not what I expected really right there. Was was no. rewind after after that first game, really playing that matchup effectively. I guess that's the right word I can I can say is that he played that effectively. Yeah, again, it just felt like all the aspects of his game, his timings that he picked to try to move away, his backdashes like you were talking about, those were excellent. He very rarely got punished on any of those. And he moved forward a lot. He moved into range yeah. for things like forward two, forward two, three, deadly wins, all that kind of stuff, one deadly wins. Just very slight pressure that if it hits, fantastic. If not, I'm at an excellent range that I like yep. as well. And then he goes back to the sort of hit and run game. Yeah, and, and it, it was those hit and runs, you know, it, it, it was the... It was all the conditioning of those rock walls, of those teleports, of those hell's wrath. Yes. But more importantly, was it, it was the rock wall in this in this particular vari variation of matchup because it takes away all the hats. But you know, all those rock walls and all those max distances that Scar kept getting clipped. You know, he eventually starts respecting those, and in that respect, dash up pressure, perfect mix up by uh, rewind. Yeah, yeah, King Gabler. You know, I, do you remember like the, in the beginning of Mortal Kombat 11, really known for for being one of the few Scarlet players out yeah. there. And then, you know, kind of made that transition over to Nightwolf. And I, I think he really resonates with this character well on a, on a spiritual level. I can see that he, he really enjoys this character, especially now being able to express himself with different variations, different abilities. Um, yourself. Really, really fun. The great round one. All right, well, let's see what they uh, I didn't notice. I got to remember to actually pay attention during the loading screen. Yo, he has Hana's Wrath? Is that what I just saw? Come on, let's do it. Is that correct? Let's see, okay. What do we got? What do we got? The bird? Yes! We got the mid bird that makes it so you can't spin that bar. That's what I'm talking about. On block or hit! By the way. Oh god. What? If you just got a DB. Yeah, yeah, it gets rid of it. It's kind of like an effect that's on the field. Just completely negates it afterwards. Oh, the down three does hit him airborne, but you know Gambler not able to get there in time. Does hit the overhead rewind, caught sleeping, nice and low here. Failed escape that is gonna fulfill his crushing blow requirement if he decides to dip into it. Tries to go for the overhead the second time around, but this time rewind holding up, making sure he punishes on the way down. Fireball blocked. Low Fireball is such a good ability to equip to Liu Kang. I feel like it's very, especially now that you have customs, it's very, very tough to leave Low Fireball over there because having a Fireball that you can't just, you know, neutral duck is so, it's so tough to kind of like avoid that chip damage and you make players play in a certain way, just make them afraid of it. Right there, ducking under all those highs, tries to go for his throw, but King Gambler challenging with a down three. Big jump in kick oh, here. Got a lot of control here. All he needs is maybe one more hit, maybe two more hits. That's gonna be that. I'm with you, man. Low shot is super good, and so is rewind. It's <laughs> a very, very convincing game number one. Very, very good. I mean, incredible player all around. Younger players, not a new school, but I, I just see, you know, so much. Look, man, not not even. I can't even say potential. I mean, this is just. Uh, a, a solid player. This is an Evo champion here from just oh, yeah. days, okay. and it's it, it's this. It shows. It shows that the the devotion is there. The the so desire to be the best. The desire to be a great fighting game player is there. And rewind and oh, oh. Uh, looks like King Gambler maybe was playing with a more of a no. I guess he's he's sticking out with the same thing. I thought it was kind of like an experimental. Loadout, yeah. maybe you know some abilities yeah. that he's gonna give a shot. Sounds maybe like a secret little hail mary that nobody knows about, but <laughs> you know, he really didn't get to use it too much, especially not in that last round. That last round was all. Oh. Yeah, I felt like Rewind's just always in his face, and even when he's not, it's, he's making the low shots work. Right, so he really didn't get that many opportunities. Here we go. Oh yeah, breaks it immediately. Okay, it's a grab. So maybe now? Yes, indeed. Yeah, you can't do. You can't have a Oh, what a break, though! 
Okay, nice little back throw here. Oh, that was really far. It actually, it, it actually whipped there. But it's okay, Gambler finds the situation. Gets it going. Oh, okay! Man. Again, that's gonna be gone right now. Yeah, you got access to meter. But I have more. He tried it out big time! Again, Gambler was patient, got the punish. Big, big risk there from Rewind. But you know what? He was willing to do it. He wanted to kind of sneak that fatal blow in there. So 350 just like that yet again. Curious to see the Hana's Wrath not coming out very often even here. It does have substantial startup. Yeah, but King Gambler, I mean, he wants to get in. That's clearly the idea here. He's trying to get in, but in that whole round, never got it. And as soon as he got close, it was Rewind who took control. Fight. Fireball does get flawless blocked all the way from downtown. Trying to keep that consistency here is King Gambler, but you know, kind of, it's really easy to mess those up. Very specific timing here on the flawless blocking. Rewind not committing to the full string, getting the reversal throw. Tricky stuff because most good players, you know, when they're at a frame disadvantage, they're more than likely gonna block because they don't want to get hit. Okay, now here's Gambler. He respects the strings a couple times at least. There's the bird! And now it's Gambler, he can party. Not as concerned about flawless walk up twos and threes. But the buff doesn't last that long. The debuff doesn't last that long. Oh man, he was really baiting the flawless block out there. Oh, what a duck under that last fireball. So specific to Luke King, so specific to that setup. And Gambler just doing it like it's nothing. Oh, he didn't commit to the whole thing. Oh, and the armor yeah, break it. going right through. Right through if that he breakaway. Had, he had the 1-1. One, one. He could have definitely got significant damage. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that was a... He didn't have it. Yeah. I think that was a preemptive... Uh, a stagger there. So like in his mind, you know, it wasn't going to hit. He was expecting Rewind to block it and maybe he was going to get a little tricky, pretend to go for, you know, 1-1 one, one into a throw and actually go for like a 1-1 one, one into another string. And it was just kind of like, I, I think he was just thinking a few steps ahead. He really didn't expect Rewind to challenge in that specific scenario. No. Uh. Don't guess right. Mm. Don't guess right. We stick with the same variation. Okay, we didn't see what the moves were. But... This is his last chance in, in Winner's Finals, at least. What do we have here? Hana's Wrath has been the call. Rising Tom Mihawk and still Hana's Wrath. As, of course, Rewind is obligated to stay with the same variation because he won. But that's a great one anyway, man. That Lu one is so strong. So Gambler has played this almost entirely with the idea that he needs to get in. And I felt like part of why he wanted Hana's Wrath is that he could make it so that there's no by fireball break comes. But you know, when he's at range, we haven't really seen the birds come out even still oh my god, this grappler! Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a grappler. Grappler oh, again. Oh, the abilities, the specific abilities equipped here. Oh, hitting him there with that nice little, little, little blow, little kick to the shin here. Oh, again, and the really didn't get the grab. To get to match point in winners finals here to get into grand finals on winners side. Rewind is looking great for that. Just like that, rewind is back in here on pressure. He's had so few opportunities. And when he has that opportunity, it feels like Rewind's been battling back each time. Here's one opportunity, and Rewind battle back. Yes! So quickly as well. The bird. Staying boosted. Not coming out to play. Bird? No bird. This low approach here, King Gambler. Just bulldogging the classic stuff. Since all the way back at the beginning of fighting games, walk and block, walk and block as the approach, just staying very safe. Here's a chance, no, the Amplified reaction from Rewind is super good. Ah! 
The bird. Okay. Can you make it happen now? Beautiful. Final round. So he at least takes the round. The reflect. First time we've seen that as well. I can't believe it. Here's a chance. No, unfortunately. Pressure the grab with the tech as well. Rewind still aware defensively. He finds an opportunity to get out of the corner, put his opponent in this full screen. And from here, he's had so much strength. He's been able to zone out very well. His low fireballs have been great. The anti air on reaction amplify. Stand fireball, no. But then thrown out of it. Hoping to bait maybe a false block with that early jump, but rewind under such a situation. He's only a few situations. Now from taking it, maybe even a couple hits. That slow approach, the bulldogging. Okay, sleep plus frames, maybe the deal. One mix up. He's gonna need a couple more. No quick punish. Yes, he did get it. And he's going directly into the game. One more opportunity still. Arrows. Pawn's wrath finally comes out to play, and there it was. Game gambler. Okay. Does take a game. It seemed like he was in trouble, but there he was. Yeah, I mean, it, it came down to the wire there, and it looked like, again, right before getting that victory, getting that game, it looked like it was pure rewind and control. I mean, but the King Gambler making the right adjustments, making the right call outs, and finding success. Nightwolf, you can. This and very he used episode, the bird a little bit. Right, he did actually yeah, have yeah. some situations where he used the bird on the way in. Once he got it, rewind. Can't use meter anymore. So, you know, King Gambler can be more confident about pressuring. He can be more confident in his combos. Yeah, it's a, it's a very unique property here with these abilities. Not something uh, too common, you know, not only just in this fighting game, but you know, in a lot of fighting games. Not common at all. Mm -hmm. To shut off resources completely. Go. And defensive bar comes off, of course. Okay. He had gone for throw there several times. Maybe that was real. Because he was looking for yet again. Gambler, it seems like he's in control. Maybe so. He looks good in this round. The bird. Hana. But no meter. Yep, you can't load the KB. I, I like that King Gambler challenge there with that bicycle kick. It's not as plus as it seems, even if it leaves you in a standing position. I think challenging, you know, more than not challenging is usually the right idea. Oh, the stagger pressure here from Rewind, challenging there with a down one, trying to solidify the turn, recognizing that the down one hit, but King Gambler inching his way out, but just like that, Liu Kang with some stagger pressure, pushing him all the way back into the corner. Rewind really turned it on. He has so much stagger here. Finally, no, no, and then that should do it. That should be the round it is. It's a match point yet again for Rewind. That corner pressure was amazing, and those staggers were extremely effective. Round two, fight. Yeah, and Rewind never deviated from the plan. Like even if he got like pushed back a little bit, he said that's fine. I got some staggers of my own. He's gonna be constantly guessing. Here it is, no access to the meter. Oh, but King Gambler not finding the hit, finds it here. Rising time on Tomahawk, trying to switch over to the other side to push Rewind to the corner where both players find themselves in the middle of the stage. Nowhere to really go, but either direction towards your opponent. Here comes the bird again. Good reactions here from Rewind, recognizing that overhead and standing up to block it. Fireballs. I'm surprised to see all those blue reflects, the blue burns. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's good reason for that. He knows the matchups. Well, it's a chance for pressure here. Up close. A little bit of a shimmy. And... Rewind taking control. Forward throw. Anyway. Going for that low hitting string, but rewind recognizing, blocking low, making sure he doesn't get opened up by that little trick. Challenging again with this down ones right after the stagger pressure. Catching Gambler, you know, swinging a little too late. Oh, that could have been it. And he does find the conversion afterwards. Rewind taking it 3-1.
You know, despite Gambler getting something on the board, despite Gambler, you know, finding success in that one game, Rewind able to just take that whole set. He finds himself in grand finals and now guaranteed uh, for second place or better for tonight. So it's tough. <laughs> it's a tough opponent again, to, to try to win two sets over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, he looks so, so good tonight. In these dot com, as we have already got grand finals beginning before our eyes. And it is already going to be an adjustment by Scar going to Jade. Rewind is breaking out this Mama Centrion that got him the victory on the winner's side. Okay, okay, Rewind. I can find this Jade. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Absolutely. Jade has the ability to, to to throw on the purple stuff, become projectile immune, get through everything, and and find the way in. But you know, the game doesn't end when you when you get in on Centrion. She's got some of the Rain. most amazing up close Set. options. Great normal. And, you know, um, I guess Scar just wants to focus on the fact he wants to find an easier way to get in. Ooh. But that does not count as a projectile. That divine grab is actually, you know, I, I guess it, it kind of counts like a normal hit. If Jade is purple, that divine will make contact. And that will give Cetrion a full combo at most distances. Oh my goodness. Exactly what we saw earlier, too, uh, from Rewind. And perfect timing on that. Oh, I'm not too sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, but able to get the Vanishing Winds out there safely right as the Purple Globe put in! Just reading out that space, he's almost playing this like he did uh, the Loud Pick. And not not hard to implement, or sorry, not easy to implement, I should say, against Jade here. The, you trying to play keep away against Jade? Hold on a second. Yeah, you can play, it, 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 again, once you, you know, give Jade enough breathing room. Jade is able to just kind of throw that stuff on, even right there, right after she was able to block. Not able to punish that vine grab, but able to find that breathing room. However, Scar is running out of time and resources here. Life depleting so slowly, especially after that unsafe fatal blow does get blocked. Good recognition there. Rewind to, to, to recognize that flash and make sure he's blocking overhead. And, uh, you know, even bigger props to him for making sure it gets punished. Because a lot of people let like, you know fatal blows like that go and punish all the time. But you know, these are top tier, really good players here. What? Oh, what a waste of meter. What a heartbreaker there. So far. I, I think it said it was the pushback. He just pushed Jade so far away, even out of the range for the up three. Wait a minute, I thought it from in short up. And really good recognition by Rewind to see the glow and not commit beyond anything. You know, 1-1 one, one in the wall would have gotten destroyed, 1-1. One, one. And then would have gotten destroyed simply because the glow was up. Really good recognition. And then going for the stagger game instead. Still, it's going to be tough to hold a cup crawl out of here. Okay, put yourself in fatal blow position. We can do it if you would have hold If only you would have believed right there. If only, if only. Trying to challenge there at the very, very end. Maybe thought a throw was coming, but Scar does get pushed back a little bit more. A lot of time left on the clock, so nobody's in any kind of rush. Scar trying to get as much damage as possible, and that was so unsafe, but somehow, somehow goes completely unpunished here from Rewind, and Rewind is definitely not happy about the fact that he let Scar get away with that, that he let Scar steal this round here. That should have been his round, his game, no doubt about it. And hold the keep the composure. I should say, great mix-ups again. I don't know how Rewind was ready for the throw. Jade had fifty thousand options right there. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's a lot more than a couple. Is, is, <laughs> you guys get my point. So to be ready for the throw after the end of the hop, really good tech there by Rewind. Or may have just been swinging. Surprise that actually didn't get whiff punished there. Jade able to recover before Cedrion, able to hit down one and just stop anything she was looking to do here. Rewind in a bad, bad position here. A little bit less than 13% health left. So Scar does connect anything here. It should be curtain for him. Throw escape in exactly which way he was throwing him. Oh my Hold goodness! The wall. <laughs> What, what the audacity behind putting up so many walls and then to finally call out Scar's button at like the exact time he did, and now it's gonna put us in a pickup situation? This is insanity. Glow is up. up. Oh, man. Right. Down to the wire. Is she gonna teleport? Go ahead. Over the pound, down to the last hit. Scar takes it. I cannot believe what a scramble that turned into.
for that to go from such a strong position for Scar down to one of the sweatiest finishes between two <laughs> characters like this? Between two characters it, it, like this? It, it came down Oof. to 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 the to the mind game around, you know, Jade throwing down that, that purple immunity there, where, you know, was she gonna do it as soon as she got the breathing room? You know, if she were to do it, you know, you go for the moves that aren't immune to it. And if she does do it, you know, vice versa. Like you gotta, you gotta yeah, okay. really anticipate what it. The... And, and, and I feel like Scar called it perfectly there. The last three times, the last three key decision making points, Scar came out on top. Yeah. And it is it is insane, you know, you, you just talked about it, just how much could have actually happened right there. If I could do like a John Madden draw over the screen with those two characters in the positions that they were, <laughs> you could almost highlight the entire Sorry. screen and be like, stuff could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> stuff could have definitely happened here. Purple stuff is on, gonna be immune to projectiles, but it doesn't matter, Jade up close, it should be going away real soon. Throwing boomerangs there in the air. The air glaives are going to make a lot of contact. Very tough to avoid those air glaives, especially if she's right next to you. If you don't have too much time to react, sometimes you just got to hold that chip damage. What a punish here from Scar, but that last little kick, not able to make it. Not close Ooh. enough. Hit rewind with the overhead, getting a little tricky and canceling into the low. Uh, but it looks like he probably should have just let it rock. But of course, if you let it rock, very unsafe on block. Yeah, she's playing it so well around that Delilah stance. We have seen the strength of it since Ultimate's release. And turning this character from, you know, a range threat to a threat everywhere. You know, up close game got so much stronger, and I think that complements the, uh, you know, overall game plan so well. That's why I see her a lot more here in competitive play. Rewind. Is he going to be able to take this round? Last breath is available. This Scar fires on the situation. Even with the raw shuttle kick and could not escape the hills, Rad. I think Scar thought he was going to be safe right there because he was going to be chilling. Watch the beam go over his head. Nope, not today. Yeah, I just kind of nicked him there. Gave him a little bit of a haircut. There goes the glaive. Good reactions here from Rewind. Recognizing that staff coming down to that overhead. But it, it's always so tricky. You, you just don't want to tell yourself it's going to be overhead, overhead, because you can cancel into the low. Yeah, e everything that Scar did right there was was a mix-up. Even the back one, the back one going in the overhead, the, the threat of the low was there. And Rewind tried to blow it up. There's a really big gap right there. We tried something awfully slow. I think he just wanted to maximize the effort. Big punish. Big oh, punish here from Scar. I thought he was going to get a whiff on us right there. Not on the, the table here. He's going to push to the corner. We've seen crazier things happen. Long fate of Lowe's in play. And here we go. Dig the floor. We think Grand Fatal Blow is going to come at any time. Never has to take a risk. Not with the winds available. Step back down. Even the Iraqi going to shut down the food like a fatal ball. Still needs another hit. One health remaining. It's going to be a quick mix up. What a clutch block by Rewind. And he gets the reversal wall. Are you kidding me, Rewind? Clutch factor over 9,000. We, we have seen an ascension of a young man before our eyes. That was insanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And pushed back right into that. And I love the, the fact that Rewind knew that this is, you know, and that's kind of like the the distance that you want to summon that wall. Like, as soon as you get pushed back there, uh, Jade going for the low hit, amplifying it to, you know, for the pushback, making it, you know, safe. Why not? Throw up the wall. Yeah, the wall's got some recovery. But in that scenario, when it came down to a scramble, I think Rewind just kind of called out that Scar was not going to get passive. That Scar was going to get rather aggressive to try to, you know, end it right here, right now. And um, it, was, it was the right call. The right call here from Rewind. Yeah. And what a clutch block. Oh, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Blocking the low. Yeah. At after the after the extended string, it but that becomes it's such a quick overhead that's coming, and so I that that situation I don't know if that one is fuzzyable. Um, I know that most of them are, but but even then you, especially here in online, you know you never know. But that one I feel like is one of the scarier ones to try to block because that overhead's coming quick. That was super clutch. Yeah, just yeah. even just even put himself in a back back to a neutral situation to close it out. A lot of factors that could really mess you up, not just online, but also the pressure. I mean, 
points are on the yeah. line. You know, you're trying to qualify, you're trying to, you know, solidify a spot. We've seen it go down to the wire, and you know, especially in a, in a region with so many talented players. North America, very, very stacked. Whether it's West Coast or East Coast, super, super stacked all around. Down four into the rising wall. Even in our standing position, I guess Scar was so sure rewind was not going to jump out of that position. But, uh, you know, that's that's what, that's how it's going to be. It's Mortal Kombat 11. That's how it's going to be. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's right. It goes through it. It goes completely that's through it. That's a huge uh, oversight. That was my like first one. I see. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there hasn't been too many scenarios where like purple stuff is on and Zetrion gets to be, you know, aggressive up close. Oh, good block there. Did not flinch. Purple stuff is on and Scar putting an end to it there. I think maybe a, a teleport attempt was, there, you know, uh, you know, on the table there. Scar calling out this purple stuff very, very well here. Not getting hit by he hasn't got hit by vines in a very long time and i feel like it's been kind of frustrating rewind to the point where rewind is like all right fine i gotta let just let you get in and i'm gonna use my normal uh, short range buttons to uh, try to put an end to you absolutely the one thing rewind's done really well is, you know like the, what you talked about him going into the winds and getting punished for it was so unlike him because he's hadn't done it prior to the point where he was even timing projectiles almost per perfectly on when the glow was ending earlier in those rounds. Looks a little less precise this time around. Everyone might be st finally starting to feel this pressure, but let me tell you, this play throughout this bracket looks like he hasn't had a single single bit of pressure on his shoulders. I don't know where that boulder was going. That thing was going. <laughs> that, 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 that thing was going to the world to the world of hard reads that never made it. Never, ever made it. Never had a chance to live. And uh, right there, rewind, cleaning it up, no problem. You don't even have to hit confirm, man. You, you just do that win. You just do the win, and it's fine. Just do the win. Just do it. It's literally, and, and you know, she's got some good buttons. Maybe not the fastest buttons in the world. Maybe she's got some recovery on some of them. But you know, put your hands on your opponent, go right into the win. They get hit, awesome. They don't, still okay. Oh, the wall go, the wall going nowhere, right there. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Like even even Scar at that point was scared of the wall. He didn't go in. Uh, you know, maybe he thought a normal was coming, like a down four or a down one. Connects the overhead, goes right into the Delia's dance. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't go for the unsafe you know, launcher. But you just never ever know. Oh, whiffs that third kick. That could have been really really bad. Had rewind up, you know, something a little bit faster there. Maybe not a roll. Goes up the purple stuff, rewinding out. World of hurt here, down to almost nothing. What is he gonna do? Scar trying to stay away, looking for that fine grab, and that's gonna be the green light, the, the opening for him to turn on the purple stuff. But he, he's not getting overzealous. He's not overcommitting here. He's waiting, waiting for the opportunity. Throws it. He's got nothing. He can't. He does not have access to last breath. This is very, it's very a tough scary situation. Rewind. Not probably not gonna be able to stop. Jump back, Glaive. I mean, with the space that was had. Wait a second now. I'm shocked that Scar didn't put up there. Oh my! Oh no! 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 Oh my goodness! No! 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 I'm just. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm done. I'm done commentating Mortal Kombat. You guys have yourselves a wonderful night. Hope that. Hope that. Hope that the show has been halfway decent uh, uh, i hope that you guys have have learned something about mortal kombat that you that, that that you didn't know prior apparently you know you know you can just that can happen i'm done <laughs> it, you know it all came down to those throw animation you know some characters have very very long throw animations where some have a little bit shorter so again specifically in that scenario Rewind had it. Rewind, you know, made the right decisions. He hit those. He hit that very risky short hop. Now that 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 was the scary part. That short hop. I mean, why why even block? You know. Oh man. Oh man, the short hop. Short hop. Short hop. Dude, doing that, it there for rewind. That was. Oh my goodness. I just heard you screaming. If no, that, no, if that no. if that didn't hit. None of that would have been possible. No. But no, 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 no. There were there he were so many things enough. that 
there were so many things that that could have they could have gone differently. There were so many things, but you know what? Just like just like Rafiki says in the Lion King, it doesn't matter. It's in the past. It's two one rewind. It doesn't matter. You can't dwell on it, and I don't think Scar is dwelling on it. Rather than you know get his face pushed in here, uh, he, he is. Pretty, he's okay. He, he's sticking with Jade. He knows that that's the right pick, and he knows that that last game was so close. It could have gone either way. There's no real reason to, to deviate from the plan, deviate from the strategy. And right now, rewind oh my so goodness. close. I mean, one round away. Tournament point here for rewind. So Scar has got to dig in deep. Scar has got to pull out the stops for this scenario if he wants to stay alive here. Trade probably not in Scar's favor. It's pushed fully all the way back. That's going to be a nice conversion there. Gets the down oh, four, but no. nothing else afterwards. Rewind yeah, is doing no a kick, good job of challenging there. Also didn't have the bar to try to potentially go for a side switch here with Rewind, who's been riding this momentum. Going to get a punish with the up three. Resets to neutral. Probably going to wait on a little bit of bar to come back. And with the miracle jump through the tornado, is it Helen Hunt? Beautiful jump there by Scar. He's going to reestablish this pressure. And nice read by Rewind. Wow, that could have gone so many different ways. Scar, is, is that gap going to be there? Are the plus frames going to be there? Does, does Elias dance? Does he have the bar to back up the safety? And he's made the right decision every single time on Rewind, on defense right now, to inch closer and closer to ending this right now to try to take North America West for himself. Scar, on the other hand, just trying to stop the relentless pressure. Both of that fatal blow right now. Anything is possible. Oh, anything indeed possible here it comes the glaives but they do whiff that laser does connect from Centrion but the purple stuff is on gonna be immune but a big jump in that's it that's it oh completely over huge huge whiff there as rewind going with the right option rolling past the opponent knowing that Jade has a lot of strings that Jade players love to commit to multiple strings there and that was all she wrote. That was all she wrote. Rewind taking this over Scar. What a grand finals. What a great set. And Rewind just staying so solid throughout the whole thing. Staying in winners and picking what he needs to pick in those specific situations. If it's if, it, if he feels like he's going to do better with Cetrion, going to pick Cetrion. If he feels like he's going to do better with Liu Kang, going to pick Liu Kang. You can't be a character loyalist because you're yeah. going to lose a lot more than you're going to win. Yeah, just uh, it's, it's, and it's rough out look, there. <laughs> he, he looked so prepared for everything today. Did did rewind over everyone else. It, it looked like no one was was phasing him whatsoever. And you know, uh -huh. I'm sitting here still trying to catch my breath from from that third game. You know, it's like I you know rewind <laughs> left us wanting so much more. Like I'm a little bit disappointed in how that ended because I, I wanted I wanted to see that happen again, right. uh, just 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 insanity. But you saw what what that one little moment, that one potential little break yeah. in Scar in that third game was able to do, and Rewind able to just close out just like that. You know, <sighs> wonderful stuff, yeah. wonderful stuff right there. Both both West and East today putting on such such wonderful performances. Um, you know, you had Combat taking the East earlier. You got Rewind taking West here tonight so that's going to be the I week love, one i i love how confident you know rewind was like when he won that scramble situation uh when the, the clock was ticking down and he just had to kind of like wave dash and like pop off and like really like just kind of express the the, the emotion there but again